have all the supplies by? Of course I do, don't worry. How many camels are we going to bring over the mountain? Uh, just one, that's all we had money for. Oh, okay, well we should head out. We've got many miles to travel. Getting to Samarkand will be a long journey. Wait, do you have your coat? Although it is the end of winter, we can encounter some serious problems. No one ever knows what can happen up in the field or not. Yes. <laughs> like I said before, we have everything we need. Kong and Bai travel very slow. By the end of the day, they have made it 15 miles. They stop and camp out right outside of Tazingazir. They stop at Krukerol Lake. That night, they roast some beans and hit the sack. Three days have passed now, and the weather has started to change on them. They are just barely starting their 30-day journey, but have no idea what they are getting their heads into. The cold weather soon passes by, but the camel is starting to weaken to the bad weather. Whose idea was it to bring this camel on the journey? That would be neither of us. We had no money. And uh, th there was no horses either, so all we had was this camel. Shit, this camel won't make it through the journey. It doesn't matter, we don't need it to. Probably won't make it through anyways. Kong and Bai were about 50 miles into their journey, a fraction of what was yet to come. They were about 20 miles outside of what is known as Mirsky National Park. Weather conditions start to worsen yet again, and they take yet another break. Serious. We don't have the right equipment to make it through the full journey. Either way, our chances of survival are very slim to none. We're in grave danger. Well, I guess you're right. I'm really thirsty. Can I have the canteen? Sure thing. That's one thing we have a lot of. On the other hand, we don't have much money. You don't think I already knew that? Money doesn't matter anything out here. The only thing that matters is our belongings. So watch out for raids. I've heard many stories about people who have been who have died because they have no food. Seven more days have passed and everything has been going very well. Kong and Bai are plentiful with all their food and water, but the camel is growing weaker every day. They have made it through one third of their journey. They stop to camp out at a little town called Altismazo. They stop there and take out their tent and set up for the night. Kong pulls out his banjo and starts to play. Dude, can you put that away? I'm tired. I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, sure thing, bro. I'm just trying to enjoy some nice music out here in bad weather. Well, we don't necessarily need to spend our money on swords. I think once we get there, we should buy food. Kong and Bai get up the next morning and head out on their journey. The camel is still dragging itself along right beside Bai, but it's not hard to tell that it's not going to make it. Another 10 days have passed, and they are near the end of their journey. They take a break 15 miles from Pashbar. The camel's health had actually improved due to the warm weather. Dude, what happened? Oh, dude, I slipped off the cliff and in the process, the rock sank down and fell on my leg. I think it's broken. Oh. Bai slowly lifted the rock off of Kong's leg. Kong at the same time is yelling because of the pain that had been inflicted on him. Bai picked up Kong and helped him back to the campsite. There, Bai wrapped a bandage around Kong's leg. In order to continue their journey, Bai had to get rid of much of the food and supplies so that Kong could ride on the camel for the rest of the trip. Their journey had just gone from bad to worse. On feet, they only had five more days, but with Kong and his broken leg, that five went to eight very quickly. After four days, both Bai and Kong had just about had it. That night, there was a huge storm, and the camel had had it. It died over the night. When Bai and Kong woke up the next morning, they had seen this tragic event. I really don't think we can make it. Don't worry, both of us will be able to make it. Once we get to Samarkand, we'll trade all of our supplies and we'll get you the help you need. Bai, you don't have to do this! You don't get this! 
I can't just let you die. I can't live like that. How are we gonna make it to the next town without the camel for you to ride? Yeah, dude, it's fine. I can just stay here and you can go look at other towns for doctors or something. Okay, sounds good. I've heard of a town just west of here called Arzing. They should have doctors or something to help you out. I'll pack up tonight and I'll head out tomorrow morning. Don't worry, it's just a broken leg. It's nothing big. I, plus, I have food for five days. They wake up the next morning and Bai leaves looking for the villages, but he only has food for three days because he has given Kong the greater share. Bai moves quickly knowing that if he doesn't make it to Arzing in time, then he and Kong won't survive because of the amount of food he has. Back at the campsite, Kong realizes that his leg is actually starting to get infected. He grows worrisome and soon realizes that if Bai does not make it back within a week, he will easily die. After three days, the infection starts to grow worse and worse. Khan is growing very worried. He is still wrapped up in his sleeping bag with the food around him. But as the air gets warmer, the infection grows. Oh, why does this happen to me? Ah! Only to think a Russian, an English, or maybe an American soldier will find me up here in the Premier Nod. Or maybe even Osama Bin Laden. Another day had passed and still no buy. Kong was running out of supplies and knew it was only a matter of days before he would be out of food and even sooner water. Another two days have passed and he had no hope left inside of him. He thought for sure he would die. But on the seventh day, he was completely out of food and water, but in the midst he saw two men walking towards him. He suddenly noticed Bai was one of them. Bai! Oh, I brought a doctor! The doctor started to treat Kong, but even he knew that it was very unlikely he would survive. The doctor then helped up Kong and started down the mountain towards Arzing. As they descended in altitude, the air got warmer and warmer, which only meant one thing, that the infection was growing worse and worse. The next morning, Bai and Kong needed to carry on with their journey to Samarkand. They had no way of transportation for Kong, but luckily for them, one of the men who treated Kong was generous enough to give him a camel to ride, knowing that it was the only way Bai and Kong could carry on with their trip to Samarkand. Then they thanked the doctors and took off on their trip. How long is it until we make it to Samarkand? Well, the doctor on our way back to get you from ours thing said it's about two days, so we should make it about, about four days. Well, that's good. We can hopefully finish our journey then. Well, don't get too excited. Remember, we don't need food or water, so we're going to have to go to extremes to live. Kong and Bai walk for five hours, where they then find a river. The water they drank came straight from the mountain, so it was free of parasites and bacteria. They both drank plenty and continued on their excursion. Three days passed without any sight of Samarkand. They're losing energy due to lack of food. Said that it should be about three days, but more than that. Can I see the compass? We traded that for your help. It was the only device we needed besides the camel. Yeah, well, that's the only way we could have got you the help was trading Look, let's stay here tonight and figure things out tomorrow. Alright, I'll go find the food. You stay put. Bai found a stick on the ground and whittled it into a spear on a sharp rock that lay beside him. Bai set out to hunt while Kong lay on the ground, spinning a stick on a log with brush around it, hoping that Bai would come back with a kill. Two hours passed and Bai finally came back with a small bunny. Bai and Kong roast the bunny and soon fall asleep. Bai and Kong got up the next morning and continued on their excursion. They continued for another three days hunting for food every day. Before they know it, they end up in Gazar. It was a town full with colorful houses and street vendors. At first, Bai and Kong had no idea where they were. They went to many people asking them where they were. No one seemed interested in them. Finally, a man approached them and told them that they were in Gazar. They were excited by this answer because that, in order to make it to Samarkand, they only had to travel another 20 miles, only a one-day journey with a camel. Your leg is broken. If we sell the camel now, how are you going to make it to Samarkand? We work. On what? At people's houses, in their yard. 
and can earn some extra cash to pay for food and goods for the rest of the trip. Alright. How long are we planning on working there for? About two weeks. That should give us enough money to pay for food. And once we get there, we can always sell the camel for some extra supplies. The next morning, Bai and Khan go out looking for work. It wasn't hard to find someone who needed help. They found a job picking leads at local stores. The job was easy, and they were getting paid by the day. They worked 10-hour days for two weeks. The two weeks went by, and they had made a decent amount of money. They would need to use about a quarter of that money to buy food and water for the 20-mile journey to Samarkand. They thanked the man who they worked for, packed up, and left about noon for the 20-mile journey. Twelve hours have passed. It starts to rain and thunder tremendously loud, but out in the distance they see a light. Bai starts to run towards it, and Kong climbs onto the camel and heads towards it as well. Have we finally made it? I don't know, I've never been here before. There it stood, the city of Samarkand. Okay, sounds good, I've heard of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I've heard of a town to stop. Okay, sounds good. Stop. Okay, sounds good. I've heard of a town just west of here called Arzing. They should have some type of dog. Okay, sounds You can't be. Okay, sounds good. I've heard of a town just west of here called Arzing. They should have doctors. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. I've heard of a town just west of here called Arzing. They should have some doctors. We should get, I'll get them to come back here. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I've heard of a town just west of here called Arzing. Oh my god! Oh, it's <laughs> How long are we planning working here for? Sit up. Okay. Wow. This seems way more than 20 miles. Oh. This can't be more than 20 miles. It has to be more than 20 miles. Cut it. It has to be more than 20. Wow, this seems way more. That's not what you say. <laughs> what was I say, have we finally, have we, 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 have